What's up guys, welcome back to Logical Redstone. In the previous episode, we did binary to BCD. Today, we're just doing the opposite, BCD to binary. As a quick refresher, if you wanna represent 25 in BCD form, you have one packet of four for the two, and you have another packet of four for the five. So today we're converting it from this form into this form, back into the regular binary, 16, eight, and one, which makes 25. In the previous video, we just used double dabble. So can we just use the reverse of double dabble this time? And the answer is yes, you can just use double dabble in reverse. It'll work totally fine. But I wanna show you what I think is a much better way to do it. And this is the schematic for the machine that I use. This machine can take any BCD number and convert it into binary. This purple box is just a binary adder, which takes two inputs, adds them together and gives one output. On the output, we have a bunch of repeater locks which are locking the answer in place. This acts as a register. If we want to load the register, we simply flash it like that, which means turn it off and turn it back on really fast. The output of this register gets wired all the way back into the left input of the binary adder. But there's a slight catch. On its way back, it gets multiplied by 10. For example, if this register has a two in it, it's going to output here, come all the way back, get multiplied by 10, and now there's a 20 coming into this left side because two times 10 is 20. So the way that this is gonna work is you're gonna type in the BCD digits of your number one at a time. If we were converting 25, we would first type in two and then type in five. For every digit that you input, you're just gonna input it on the right and then you're gonna flash this register. And by the end of it, the final converted number should be in this register. So for example, let's convert 123 in BCD into binary. This green digit is just gonna represent what's going into the adder on the right side, and this orange digit is just gonna represent what's going into the adder on the left side. So to convert 123, we're first gonna input a one on the right side, since it's the very first digit. Once we do that, this adder sees zero plus one, and it's gonna output a one because zero plus one is one. Then you just flash this register, which loads it with the output. I just said the output was one. So now this register has a one in it. That one comes all the way back here, gets multiplied by 10. And so now on the left side, there is a 10 trying to go into the adder. Then we input the second digit. I'm gonna put a two here, which means that a two is being fed into this adder. But remember, there's also a 10 over here. So 10 plus two is 12. We flash this register, and now the register has 12 in it. That 12 gets routed back and gets multiplied by 10 along the way. So now we have 120 on the left side. And now we do our third and final digit. We input a three, which means that this adder is now seeing three plus 120, 120 plus three is 123, which has now been loaded into this register. And that's it. We just converted 123 from BCD into binary. It is now inside this register. So it's a little bit difficult to imagine what's happening in the schematic. So let's look at the real thing. Here we have our BCD input. Eight is on the top and then four, then two, then one. This is our type digit button, which really just loads the register. We have a clear button. And finally, our output is right here. One is on the bottom and 128 is on the top. So let's convert 123 for real. First, we're gonna input a one in BCD and then type it. And now we have a one in the register. Then we're gonna input a two and type it. And now we have a 12 in the register. Then we input a three, type it one more time. And now we have 123. Let's clear it and let's do one more example. I'll do 200 and 50 five, which is all ones. All right, let's make one from scratch. You're going to start off with the CCA adder that I finished at the end of the synced edition episode. I took off the input lamps and the output lamps, and I also just chopped off the carry out because we're not going to be using it. Let's start with the output register. You're going to do a block here, repeater, block, slab, block, lamp, two dust, and punch that out. Then you can stack this guy seven down. So select two corners and stack seven down. Now we need the repeaters that are actually gonna be locking them. So start with a repeater like this and stack it seven up. And now we can do our slab tower. So start off with two blocks like this, some redstone, two slabs, select the two slabs, stack six up, and then just remove the extra one. 
Then put a torch right here, which locks all of the repeaters. And we're gonna put a line which is 15 long from right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then put redstone on top of it. Then put a repeater on the end of it and three more blocks going up in a staircase like this. Then I'm gonna make a two tick pulse generator with a comparator, a repeater on two ticks and some dust. And now this is our flash register button. When we press this button, it's going to generate a two tick pulse, which quickly depowers this torch, which quickly unlocks all the repeaters and locks them again. Now let's make the output route back into the input and also multiply by 10 on the way. The way that we're going to multiply by 10 is not by building a giant multiplier, please don't do that. Instead, we're going to create two separate shifts. One of the shifts is going to be a shift up once, which in binary will multiply it by two. And the other shift is going to be a shift up three times, which in binary will multiply it by two to the third, which is eight. When you add those two shifts together, we get two plus eight, which is 10. In other words, if we take any of these bits and we split it into two lines, one of them being a single upshift and another one being a triple upshift, it will multiply that bit by 10. So let's build that line. You're going to start with a block slab block slab three times and put redstone dust on top of it. Then you're going to go up with another five blocks and then a slab and then a block. Two dusts, comparator on subtract mode, dust, repeater, dust, repeater. So what we've done so far is taken the first bit and plugged it into the second bit, which is a shift up once. So now we can just repeat this line a little bit further and plug it into the fourth bit which is a triple shift from the first one. Another way to think about it is this bottom bit is valued at one, this bit is valued at two, and this one is at eight. So the one is coming along and plugging into the two and plugging into the eight. In other words, the one is being multiplied by 10. So now we just need to take this circuit and stack it four more times upwards. The way I'm gonna do that is by selecting chunks that are two blocks high and then stack four up. So I'm gonna do that for every single chunk that is only two blocks high. That way we don't have any stacking issues or anything. So here, 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 and there we go. And when you're done with it, the top repeater should be into the top bit, just like this. And you also need a block right here to prevent this line from getting up onto this line. Now let's build the lime circuit, which lets us type in any BCD number that we want. I'm gonna put a repeater on two ticks right here, two ticks right here, and two ticks right here. Then go out five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, put redstone on top of them, and then make this other one line up with them like this. And what we've just made is the one, two, and four lines. This bottom one is a one because it's going into the first layer, which is valued at one. This one is two for similar reasons. It's going into the layer valued two, and this one is a four. But that's not enough for BCD. We still need an eight line as well. The problem is if you look at layer eight, both inputs are being taken. The one on the right is being taken from the one that needed to shift up three, and the one on the left is being taken from the four, which needed to shift up once. So in order to make an eight, we need to cheat the system a little bit. When the eight line is pressed, we're gonna make it power the four, the two, the one, and the carry-in, because the carry-in is valued at one. This will work just fine because four plus two plus one plus one is eight. So go ahead and put repeaters on these three, and then line up the carry-in with this fourth repeater. Then just make a quick slab tower. And now we can create our eight line. It's gonna start here, go down, all the way through here until it powers the tower. And there we go, we have our BCD input. And by the way, the reason I made these repeaters two ticks and these repeaters one tick is just to make it synchronized. Now, if you take any of these four lines and you look at how many ticks it takes before it gets to the purple, it's always gonna be two. If you start on this line, we have one, two, purple. Or if you start on this line, one, two, purple. But anyways, now we can throw some lamps on these. You can put signs on them as well if you want. Eight is up here, then four, then two, then one. 
And the last thing we need is a clear function, because right now there's no good way to reset this back to zero. And that's what these comparators are for. When we cancel all of these signals, the adder is now reading zero plus zero, so then we can just flash the register and give it a zero. So first, just put some repeaters into the side of these, like this. Then you're gonna go down two blocks like this and make your normal slab tower all the way to the top. Then just bring this guy out by another two blocks into a repeater. And then you can take this line and line it up with the other guy. So now this is our clear button. You just need to also come down here and go down with two dust, four ticks, one tick, block, and dust. And we are done. This is our BCD to binary converter. Let's try it out. If you input a one, we get one. If you input a two, now we get one, two, which is 12. And if you input three, now we get one, two, three, which is 123 in binary. Awesome. And that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time. Peace out.